Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can probably tell from the title of the video, today I am doing a little meal prep with me. So this is a super easy meal prep idea. I think there's literally five ingredients, super quick, easy, literally foolproof. Like if you're someone who cannot cook, don't like cooking, this is foolproof. You, I don't think you could stuff it up. We'll see. <laughs> Um, but it's something I like to make a lot, especially for meal prep because it's just really easy, really quick. High protein. Um, I'm also going to make a snack. I haven't quite figured out yet what I want to make as a snack, but I know I want to make something. So stay tuned for that as well. Um, also, I am literally just wearing a hoodie. It's so cold in Melbourne that I literally have slippers on as well. So don't mind the fact that I'm just like... All cozy. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy these types of videos so I know to keep making them. And if you guys want to see what I'm making, then please keep watching. All right, so I'm going to make my lunches first. I thoroughly enjoy this meal prep in particular because I'm someone who's very fussy with like reheating food. So I don't usually ever cook like chicken in my lunches, for instance, because I hate the texture of chicken warmed up. Ew, just the thought of it like makes me want to hell. <laughs> um, so I like to do mince mostly if I'm putting meat in my lunches. I just feel like you can reheat that and it's much nicer. You don't like get a weird texture. Anyway, I'm talking a lot right now, but I need to I need to focus. So the first thing you're going to need is some sort of mince meat. If you don't eat meat, then you could do like lentils or something, but I am going to use beef mince. You could also use chicken or turkey, honestly anything. I just realized I haven't even said what I'm making. <laughs> I'm making sweet potato cottage pie. You could also use spud light potato instead of the sweet potato, but I like to have that for dinner most nights, so I'm just gonna zhuzh it up with sweet potato. Um, so yes, you obviously need one of these big guys. They didn't have any smaller ones, so this is, this is what I'm working with. You're going to need some light cheese to pop on top and also some soy sauce. I love soy sauce in cottage pie, but I know other people do like tomato sauce, beef stock. Honestly, do what works best for you, but I'm trying to keep this like minimal ingredients. And the last thing is just some frozen vegetables because these just make life so much easier. So the first thing we're gonna do is peel the sweet potato, chop it into cubes and boil it. And we're also gonna cook off the beef at the same time. sweet potato and my beef cooking up at the moment. Added some like salt and pepper. If you have minced garlic, onion, anything like that, feel free to add whatever seasonings you want. I just try to keep it to like a bare minimum for this video, but if you have that kind of stuff in your house, feel free to add it. Now I'm just going to add probably about two tablespoons of soy sauce. I always get the salt reduced version and I also never measure anything properly. I just kind of, I just kind of wing it. I'm just going to use the rest. So we're going to do that and then we're also going to add probably about half a bag of this mixed vegetables straight into the beef. That looks about right. Give that a good mix. And we're just going to let that simmer for about five minutes while I make my snack. So I decided because I have an old banana, I'm just going to make banana muffins. I feel like I show this all the time on my YouTube channel, but if you're new here, maybe you haven't seen my muffins yet. So that is what I'm going to make today. I'm also going to add some chopped chips in them as well. So again, super easy ingredients. You're just going to need oats, an egg, some maple syrup, like baking powder, cinnamon, vanilla extract, all that kind of stuff. I will leave the full recipe written below, but it is pretty basic stuff that you would probably already have in your house. Um, and I also use coconut oil, but you can use um, any sort of like vegetable oil or butter. I just prefer to use coconut. So I'm going to make that up now and then I can put it all in the oven together. Also, side note, the muffins are not high in protein, but you could for sure add some vanilla yogurt or protein powder in them to make them higher in protein. I personally don't like adding protein powder because it makes them dry and I don't currently have any yogurt on hand. so. Just thought I would throw them in there.
you guys can see I have now plated them up and they look so good also the house smells amazing so i just put it with a little like side salad and some carrots i've just done this kind of like for props but i wouldn't usually put salad with something that you have to warm up because obviously you don't want warm salad <laughs> um, so i probably would put the like salad type stuff in a separate container and also the dressing separately as well and then the thing that you have to put in the microwave can just be left on its own. I just put carrot sticks with it, but you could also do fruit if you're someone who like wants something sweet after they eat like a meal. You could do like strawberries or something, but I just didn't have any of that in the house. So yeah, I'm so excited to eat them. The muffins also turned out so good. I'll show you guys like a close up. Oh my God, the heat. Like, wow, that looks incredible. So I'm so excited to eat those. As I mentioned, I will leave all the recipes down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Please let me know if you'd love to see more of these kind of meal prep videos because I do like to prep my food at the start of every week. So I can definitely do another video like this if you liked it. But otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!